Okay, so my five month old is sleeping in the other room, so I might have to be a little quiet, but I am super excited to let you guys know that I'm getting a brand new cover for my YA fantasy novel on Wings of Ash and Dust. Now, some of you might be curious why the cover is changing. So in addition to revealing the cover, I'm going to be sharing the reasons behind the change. And as an extra bonus for all you audiobook lovers out there, I'm giving you guys something extra special to celebrate the cover reveal at the end of this video. So stay tuned. But first, why am I even changing my book cover? And to explain this, we're gonna do a little story time. So this past August to September, I was actually working with an author coach who was helping me learn how to market my books even better and reach new readers through Amazon ads. Part of the process though was not just learning how to do ads, but actually using ads to figure out if my book in the state it was currently in was reaching its ideal reader through all the elements on its Amazon page. This includes the book cover, the title, the blurb, the price, and more. All factors that can affect a book sale. For example, if you get tons of clicks on your ad, which includes your book cover, but those clicks aren't necessarily converting to purchases. Your cover might be making people click, but your blurb or book description might need some work. Or if you're not getting the number of clicks you want or getting clicks from the wrong type of readers, your cover might not be attracting your ideal reader as effectively as it could be. Anyway, without getting too much into the nitty gritty, we basically realized that changing my cover might be one element that could bring in even more readers, which is something that indie authors do commonly to connect with new readers over time and even big publishers do from time to time as well. Although my coach thought my original illustrated cover was well done and there were definitely books doing really well with illustrated covers in my genre, we found that many fantasy books with illustrated covers actually tended to be more heavily romance driven and there are many more epic fantasy covers that feature big text with symbols and icons that represent the story rather than illustrations of the characters. Which by the way, let me know in the comments, which do you prefer for epic fantasy books? Illustrated covers featuring the characters or covers with big text and symbols? I'm super curious what you guys think, so let me know. Anywho, this realization obviously made me really sad because you guys know I love my illustrated cover and I know many of you guys did too. My original cover designer, Hilary Barden, did such an amazing job with the artwork. So I wanna be really clear that this change in no way reflects my thoughts of her work at all because I love it. But in the end, if you love this cover, you probably already bought it. And if a new cover is going to help more epic fantasy readers connect with my Pixie Pirate Quinn and her fellow Fae heirs, I was ready to try it. Thankfully, as I started doing research into more of these text-based and icon covers in my genre and cover designers who do these types of covers, the more I got excited about what my new cover could look like. Here's some of the comp covers I found for inspiration that I sent to the cover designer I ended up picking. And after studying these comps, I saw some patterns that readers of these books seem to really like. For example, many featured weapons, sometimes a crown, and then they usually had white or silver serif text against a darker background. These were all things that I thought would connect really well with my story too. So I imagined a cover that could feature Quinn's dagger to represent her pirate slash stabby heroine nature, a crown to represent the fey crown the competitors compete for, white or silver serif text, plus dragon wings and glowing embers to represent the wings and ash and dust in my title, as long as my designer could make it fit in an appealing way. I ended up going with the cover design team Deranged Doctor Design, and it took us a couple of tries, but boy, did this design team deliver. And without further ado, here is the brand new cover. Doesn't it epically incorporate all of the symbols I mentioned and kind of fit in with the comp covers I shared before? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Also, I recently got the book's proof copy in the mail. Because it's a proof copy, it's got this annoying not for resale banner across the top, but even still, how pretty! Also, here is the spine, hopefully it's in focus, and the back cover that also features all the serial episode covers. Plus, the paperback still has the character illustrations as the episode dividers. So if you purchase the paperback, you actually get 
both kinds of art. If you're itching to get your copy with the new cover, I've linked it down below. And if you'd like to share about the new cover with your fellow reader friends, you can help me share it over on Instagram today by resharing this post of mine to your Instagram stories. Also, if you're wondering if all the other books are getting new covers too, right now I plan on leaving the serial episodes with the illustrated covers, but if this new cover kind of skyrockets sales for the bind out, there's the possibility that I might update these two, but we'll see. Also, if you really love the old cover but missed out on purchasing it, definitely send me an email because I did order a couple of copies with the original cover that I would be willing to sign and mail to anyone who would like to purchase the last few copies. And for all you wonderful people who stayed until the end, I was inspired to create something extra special to further celebrate this new cover and it has to do with audiobooks. Though I've always dreamed of hiring a narrator to bring my characters to life in an audiobook format and I still plan to do this hopefully sometime next year, professional narrators can be pretty pricey. So while I save money for an official audiobook in the future, I got inspired by watching Sarah Cannon read her own book aloud chapter by chapter on her YouTube channel and decided to do something similar but different, where I record myself reading some of my story just for you guys. I always think it's fun to hear a story read directly from the author themselves. And for myself, I've also done a lot of acting and dramatic reading in my past and have some experience with recording tech and equipment from my years doing music. So I've been really wanting to try this out, especially for readers who would find it fun to experience the story in my own voice. Fleeing down the cliffside streets of Grey Marrow, I urge my dragon-like wings to quicken through the thick smog. Bladesmiths stoke their forges with early morning fire. Loud hammering and the whine of a sharpening wheel thrums through my body. My eyes sting from the smoke, but at least no one can see I've already rubbed them raw. Blasted tears. As a red sun rises, my vision blurs, and I crash into a display of swords. They clatter to the ground. Berating voices call after me for my carelessness but I don't stop, speeding toward the beach below the mountain. The more the tears fall, the faster I fly, as the Gwillian mantra I claimed just the night before rings in my mind, taunting me. Gwillians are strong as steel. They do not yield. Magic is a crutch. Laughter is frailty. Tears are poison. Whether you've been meaning to start reading my book or you've already read it but want to experience it in a fresh way, right now my reader newsletter subscribers can listen to the audiobook reading of my opening chapters as I work on the other chapters. Then when I release the next few chapters to my subscribers, I'll make the opening chapter reading public here on YouTube. But if you're excited to start listening right now, just make sure you're subscribed to my reader newsletter, which I've linked down below. Also, if you're like me and you're excited about an official audiobook with a professional professional narrator and want to help it become a reality, I've been thinking about starting a Kickstarter or something similar for this audiobook project and then giving the audiobook to everyone who contributes when it's finished. I don't have a Kickstarter or anything set up right now, but if you'd be interested in joining when it is live, simply fill out the form in my description and I will send you an email alert when I have it all set up. Thanks so much for being excited with me guys as I try new things and if you are just hearing about my book and would like to know more about how I plotted, edited, and published this book, as well as some details about the upcoming sequel, definitely check out this playlist right here. And for now, I am off to work on said sequel, so wish me luck.